Okay, listen, if you don't like listening to my coffee videos, turn this off now because I am going to repeat the recipe that I just made on my Virtuo machine. I'm gonna do it with my original line Pixie, but look, I have a drawer with these. You know, I save these plastic things for when you get takeout food because I don't have any pepper in the house. But this recipe is sometimes made with pepper. Gee whiz, how do you get into this? This is very strong plastic. Okay, um, this recipe calls for pepper. Oh my goodness, I didn't plan on you watching me wrestle. There we go. Okay, this recipe calls for pepper. Or you can put pepper in it. When I just made it, in my other video, I didn't put pepper, but I found some pepper here. So <laughs> I can go ahead and make it with pepper, but this time I'm going to make it with, yes, Palermo Cazar Espresso, which has spicy aromatic notes. So what better than to make it with a coffee that's very spicy. Okay, so I've, whoops. Okay, hopefully, oh, I don't want this to fall over. I still haven't gotten that new phone holder yet. Okay, I've given this a little rinse. Oh, let me give it a little bit better rinse here because I don't see how some of the milk sort of congeals on the bottom and I don't want to end up having sort of burned milk or milk that just doesn't taste very good. Okay, much better. All righty, so let me go ahead and put my milk in here. And this is the almond coconut milk that's very low calorie, so it's not going to froth up. But that's okay, because for this recipe, you just want hot milk. Okay, so this is what you do. Let me bring this over here. For those of you that didn't see my other video, okay, so we can measure stuff out. This is going to be turmeric coffee, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to add... And this is an espresso, by the way. We're going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. And you know what? If you fudge on these measurements, it's okay. You know, it's because it's all a matter of personal taste. And it's okay if you don't measure it exactly how I'm telling you. You know, every recipe I looked up, had different measurements, although most of them were the amount of vanilla and approximately the amount of turmeric were the same, and then you had half the amount of ginger. Okay, so we'll do an eighth of a teaspoon of ginger. Okay, and we'll put this little thing back on here. There, that's on good. All right, then we'll have an eighth of a teaspoon of some lovely Saigon cinnamon. Okay, and then we want to have twice as much of the turmeric, okay? So, two eighths of a teaspoon. There's one, two. Okay, now, when it comes to the pepper, oh golly, do you know I forgot to look up how much pepper to put in? All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, go big or go home. Let's see. I'm gonna put in, well, how much does this even have in it? This looks like it's got maybe a sixteenth of a teaspoon. Not very much pepper at all. Well, you know, pepper, you don't need much pepper to really spice something up. 
Okay, and I realized from making this before, it does need to be sweetened. Sometimes this uh, sweetener, this sugar syrup, well, it's really skinny syrup, will make the milk froth up, so we'll see. All righty, now. I put it all in my milk frother because that has that little thing that whoo, spins around with the spring and it'll mix everything up really well. So, you know, if you don't have pepper in your house, you can do like I did and fish around for one of these things from a fast food place maybe or a takeout that you saved. And there's your pepper. Okay, you know what? I do keep salt. I'm gonna go ahead and save this just in case. Let me kind of stick it back in there, just in case I run out of salt. Okay, back in the drawer. See, I've just got, you know, all these different, <laughs> you never know when you're gonna need them. <clears throat> okay, so the Palermo Cazar coffee is an intensity of about 12. And I have read that it's got anywhere from 120 to 140 milligrams of caffeine. And this does have a very intense taste. I'm just watching the milk there because you know that takes about a minute and a half. So just to recap the ingredients, okay? I've got half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I've got eighth of a teaspoon of ginger. Eighth of a teaspoon of cinnamon quarter of a teaspoon of turmeric, okay? And um, that's in about three and a half ounces of almond coconut milk, but the amount of milk is up to you. And then I put in some Jordan's Skinny Simple Syrup. So is that everything? Yeah, I think that's everything that's in there and it's ready. So the milk is hot. It didn't froth up but we got just a little bit of, you know, a little bit of bubbles on the top. So here's one of the fun things. This was my cup for my first cup of coffee. One of the fun things about this is the pretty golden color that the turmeric gives to the milk. Okay. Now we'll go ahead and brew the coffee. So, oh, let me heat the water up and Okay, I'll br whoops, bring you over here so you can watch it brew along with me. You can see the machine is flashing. It's saying, I'm heating up, I'm heating up, I am heating up. Look, I cleaned the dust off my machine yesterday and already it's getting more dust. I guess it's a dusty house here. Okay, come on, come on, heat up. Really, it will heat up. It doesn't take very long at all. I think maybe it takes, up. Oh, there we go. Not very long at all. So I'm making Palermo Cazar Espresso. As you know, this goes really quickly. <clears throat> this makes espresso between 10 and 20 seconds is how long it takes. There we go. Usually closer to 10 seconds. Okay. We'll let that finish running out. All righty. Oh, well, let me turn this around. Oh my goodness, isn't that lovely? Oh, that is so pretty. Where's my spoon? Here it is. I almost hate to mix it up. Oh golly, you know, <clears throat> the first time I made this, uh, earlier this morning, I made it with my Virtuo this morning and an Altissio capsule. Um, I did not use the pepper, but then, you know, I thought, oh, let me look in those takeout plastic ware and, you know, cause sometimes they put the salt and pepper. So here we go. This is an experiment we're doing together. And I can't tell, I'll have to sip some. The reason that I decided to try the pepper is because without the pepper, it had a kick and it was spicy. 
and it almost seemed like something that would be nice to even have chili powder in. So I thought, well, you know, a lot of the recipes call for black pepper, so why not? Okay, here it goes. Whoa. Okay, now I don't know if I prefer it with or without the pepper because I think this is something that, you know, as I always say, you usually need to try things several times before you can really know if you like it or not. Honestly, there have been coffees that I have tried, like the first time I tried Il Cafe, <clears throat> I didn't like it. But then I kept reading about how so many other people liked it and I thought, let me give this another chance. And I tried it a few more times and by golly, it became one of my favorites. So don't just, you know, say, yeah, I tried this once, I don't like it. Try it a few times and give your, your senses, you know, your sensory organs, your nose, your mouth, and a chance to kind of get used to it then decide if you like it. So let me try this again. I think it needs just, I didn't, I don't think I put enough sweetener in compared to what I did last time. You know, I'm still not putting a huge amount, not like I would for a lot of other coffees, well, huge amounts, maybe an ounce. So maybe this is half or three quarters of an ounce. Okay, this is what I'm thinking. Whoa, that really get you on the back of your throat, on the roof of your mouth, it's spicy. I'm not used to using pepper in things, and I can taste the pepper in this just a little bit. If you like pepper, I think you'll like this coffee more with pepper in it. Now you may say, you know, what the heck? Like, okay, turmeric, for example, you frequently use that, what does this say? Use it in rice with onion and Italian seasoning and, and oh, and put in frozen, making yellow rice with peas. In other words, something savory, okay? But we don't usually think of coffee as being savory. We think of it more as being neutral or being sweet if we sweeten it, right? But this is good stuff. Do you know frequently when I make something savory, like chili, for example, I'll put raisins in it because it's so nice to have that little burst of sweetness in with the spicy. Well, that's kind of what this is like, except it's a burst of spicy in with the sweet. Am I tasting the coffee? Yes, I am. So, you know, Try this and you can always adjust how much of each spice you feel like would taste good. Oh, that pepper's getting me in the back of my throat. That's okay, I'll get used to it because this is new and exciting for me. So even though I may not prefer it, you know, on a regular basis with food, this is an exciting coffee. So, or I should say espresso or what, latte? Anyway, give it a whirl, see what you think.